Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have sensationally asked King Charles for permission to change their titles to the Duke and Duchess of Hollywood. It is believed that this decision could generate substantial wealth for them, as Netflix is reportedly considering paying an excessive amount to produce a 27-part documentary series about the name change. Regardless of whether anything noteworthy occurs, the revelation of the name change is expected to occur during a conversation with Oprah Winfrey. Celebrities in America, whom Harry and Meghan have endeavored to befriend, seem perplexed by their titles, regularly asking them, what is the Sussex and is Sussex near Australia? Raw commentator Benny Bond, close to an inside source, said the Sussex's consultants from their agency have told Harry and Meghan that becoming the Duke and Duchess of Hollywood could be worth tens of millions of dollars. They've been telling friends that they need a new sofa, so having lots of extra money for doing nothing is quite appealing. Being the Duke and Duchess of Hollywood would also impress a lot of Hollywood's biggest names. Meghan and Harry think that Tom Cruise is going to want to hang out with him and Tom Hanks is going to want to be in on the action too. Harry's been threatening to go back to the UK if they can't hang out with some celebrities who aren't James Corden. Buckingham Palace is understood to have misgivings about the upset decision could cause to the Sussexes, but King and Palace is understood to have misgivings about the upset the decision could cause in Sussex. King Charles rejected and even ignored any offers from Meghan and Harry. An insider from inside Buckingham Palace joked, Prince Andrews heard the news and asked if he can now become Duke of Sussex, there's a Pizza Express there he's a big fan of, so it would make a lot of sense. Harry told King Charles that if he can't become Duke of Hollywood, he might have to write a sequel to Spares and go into even more unnecessary detail about how he lost his virginity. The last thing that Charles wants is to have people reading the book and sniggering whenever he pops into his local W.H. Smiths. To be honest, it could have been worse. Last year when he asked them what they wanted for Christmas, Harry said that he wanted to be on first-class stamps and Meghan wanted a picture on 50 notes. It's a funny headline because surely the Charles would love to be part of Hollywood so badly? Nope, they expected to be part of Hollywood. Meghan's Emmy award-winning dad is the only connection though they're simply not part of the talented Hollywood elite. But they thought just being royal would instantly put them on the A-list, even inviting people that they didn't know to the wedding. It didn't last long once people saw who she really is, a grifter, but she always got Harry to do the dirty work like calling people and asking if they could use the planes and homes, etc. Royal expert Richard Fitzwilliam sees danger down the road, going so far as to imply that what they want to do is establish an American royal family. Friend Fitzwilliams rightfully points out the distressing timing of the American Riviera Orchard at a time when the royals are reeling from King Charles and Catherine's cancer diagnosis. Was this insensitive? Fitzwilliams thinks so, and he is not alone. Fitzwilliams told The Sun that the Harkle diminished popularity stands in the way of any profits that they hope to make selling dog collars and candlesticks. He advised the tacky twosome to absolutely avoid trading on their royal connections in a bid to make a fast buck. Fitzwilliams also asked if the news of King Charles's cancer treatment may have sent Harry reeling. Perhaps he should reconsider the couple's approach to their public image and branding efforts before stepping into the muck too late. Nonetheless, he's correct in noting that the media and the public are scrutinizing their every move after four years of ripping the monarchy and his family.